My name is John Marfell. Today we'll be showing you how to test a hydraulic hose assembly. Not every hydraulic hose that is manufactured will be tested and normally tests are only carried out for environmental or customer specific reasons. Hoses are tested to twice the maximum working pressure of the assembly. This is to ensure that they will comfortably deal with the required working pressures plus any potential spikes in pressures that may happen once fitted. This is also the required test specified by the BFPDA. To find the max working pressure of the hose that you are about to test, you can either check the ley line of the hose or alternatively check the technical catalogue. As you'll see, the hose that we are about to test is a half inch R2T hose. The working pressure is 275 bar, which will equate to a test pressure of 550 bar. Now that you have established the correct test pressure, we can continue to test the assembly. Step one is to ensure that you have the correct adapters to join the assembly to the assembly plate that is positioned within the rig. You may need to use additional adapters when joining the pipe to the test ports. Should you need to do this, ensure that the fittings are regulated to a high enough working pressure to allow you to test safely. When positioning the assembly, make sure that you do not exceed the bend radius recommended for the hose. This can be found within the technical catalog. To assist in getting the correct installation of the hose, the test port holder will move to the left and right to help. Once you are happy with the lay of the hose within the machine, fasten with the wheels on either end. Turn the wheel inside the machine back half a turn once done. Once the hose is fitted and the door of the machine is closed, you will need to pre-fill the hose and engage the clamping mechanism. Make sure that the hose is full before engaging the clamps by waiting for the coolant to seep through the end of the assembly. Flick the switch on the machine to set and pull the dial out until it clicks. Slowly turn the dial in a clockwise direction. This will increase the pressure being put into the hose. When you have reached the desired pressure, push the dial back in again so that it once again clicks. Now set the switch to test and press the start test button. The tester will now run a 90 second test on the hydraulic hose. When it is finished, the hose will automatically blow through to relieve the pressure built up. Should this be the only hose that you are testing, click the dial back out and turn it clockwise until it stops and click back into place. You can now open the door and remove the hose. Remember to let the hose drain, blow the assembly through and plug cap before delivery is made to the customer. Ensure also that test certs have been supplied with this assembly. The purpose of this test is to show the implications in relation to a hose failure. The assembly used in this test was a half inch 2R hose with a max working pressure of 275 bar. We ran this to 1100 bar before it eventually burst. Please remember that we conducted this in the safety of a specialized hose test rig and it is not recommended to run hoses above their max working pressure.